This is a basic eight and out pattern. You can control the point by using your forehand to their backhand. Backhand to backhand, they might be better than you. Forehand to backhand, your forehand should be better. There's a big difference between me serving and volley and me staying back. But I only come in on my first serve. When you have a certain body coming in on you, get the ball away from him and low. That's all you gotta do. Get away from him and low. And take advantage of second serves. By hitting a forehand. The simple, simple thing right there. By hitting a forehand, he may take control of the point. He really opens up the angle because from that forehand position, he can go wide or he can go down the line. And look at this simple loop he uses too. Because when he go down the line, I would actually move a little earlier. He moves as I make impact with the ball, but you could actually move a little earlier as the ball goes out of my hand because I can't see you anymore. So if you make the move as the ball leaves my hand, you have a good chance to get into position. Stay low, try to plant your foot, and try to bring your body weight back into court. See that back leg? My friend's actually really strong, so you can actually hit the shot and still have body weight moving to his left. But it's not a drive, it's a loop, right? Because you want to loop it to give yourself time to get in quick position and you want to loop it so that you don't miss a shot. So I go back and slice. Now I get options, right? You can go inside out or down the line. I'm really close to the middle of the court, so going down the line is a bad, th bad time right now. But look at this extreme angle. Look where I end up. I'm in the doubles alley, so it really opens the court up, right? There's a small difference, right? When I make a recovery, he's about to make impact with the ball. Where am I? Where am I? I am much farther away from middle line than I was earlier. And that makes a big difference. I should have lofted this ball. I should have got myself a little more time to get the ball into play. And I should have recovered. And he just said simple down the line. The other key too is this is not a finishing shot. This is like a huge shot. This is a shot he can do all the time. He wants to make it so like it's high percentage and puts me in a bad position. It doesn't have to finish. It just has to put me in a bad position.